Hi, I am Brian Seip. I am a specialty makeup artist. My dad, he brought home uh, a magazine called Cinema Fantastique and Rob Bottin was on the cover and he was the guy who did all the makeup effects for the thing. And it was really was that moment reading that magazine that I thought, this is a job. This is something that I could do. This is something that people do, you know, for a living. Um, and so I just, I just devoured that magazine. What I'm doing here today is I'll be doing a demonstration of uh, some makeup effects for the students here at Golden Valley High School. You know, they've learned from Amber, you know, some of the makeup effects that they do in the theater. One of the things that I will discuss with the kids is, you know, you can have a goal or a thought or a dream and work towards it. You know, you don't have to think, you know, I can't shoot hoops, which I can't. But anybody, if they practice, you know, enough, will, will get good at something. And then one person might just be like, wow, that's really what I want. Some people you know, will just go like, oh, that's not exactly what I thought it was, you know? And then, you know, they'll, they'll do something else. Behind me, you can see Brian Seip of um, Gamut Studios. He also works for Legacy mm. Effects. And right now he's doing a demo and an industry chat with the Golden Valley High School advanced theater students. Last year I asked him and he didn't have time because it was from Infinity War to uh, Captain Marvel to Endgame to now he's working on a Star Wars project. So he contacted me and he said, yeah, I'm ready, I can come do it. And here he is. I've been working on Marvel films for quite a few years. Uh, I guess my Marvel career started back with uh, X-Men. Did all three of those doing Jennifer Lawrence's makeup as Mystique. And then was uh, one of the department heads for Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Uh, you know, and that kind of transitioned into Infinity War and then now Endgame. One of the big things that you have to do in the film industry is collaborate with a lot of the people. It's part of the job. I mean, part of anything, you know, once you graduate high school, once you do anything, you have to be able to work with other people to get something done. It's collaborating, it's working with others, and it's listening. And it sometimes can be difficult. You know, everybody trying to get their point across, everybody trying to get their voice heard can be difficult. Sometimes it, you know, kicks you in the knees and you're just, you know, you're just like, ah, you know, you get your feelings hurt or, you know, you do something that you like, somebody else doesn't like. You know, it's all kind of part of it. But, you know, it, it also can be really empowering because sometimes we have half a thought in our head and then somebody else can finish it. Some of the collaboration too is you're told what to do and you just have to listen because that's your job. I wanted the kids to get this like little peek into what the industry really is and to hear from someone who started just like them and then pursued their passion. Uh, how far can you take a high school theater class experience? Well, that's how far you can take it one direction. So I want the kids to see that. I want them to see that they can do this. If they're persistent too, they can also do this kind of stuff in their future from the skills I teach them in class. I mean, I am hoping to inspire. I mean, a lot of times when I do a talk like this, anything that I talk about is gonna be hopefully inspiration for anything that anybody wants to do. Make cakes, work out, do whatever it is. It's, you know, it, it's just, you know, to inspire in that way. And then if you really are interested in this world of makeup effects or specialty makeup and really have the passion to practice and stick with it, then you can do it, you know? And if you don't, it's your fault. You go home, practice. It's not up to anybody else but you. You know, I think that's more of an important message than anything, anything. I think it's really cool and I, you know, who knows how we'll follow this up, but you know, I just want to have more opportunities like this and more support in the arts is always, you know, that's what brings people like this here.